Hey folks, Stippling here with another Bricklink haul. This time I've got a package from LS Bricks from Poland. No, Play Stippling is not sponsored by Poland despite the similarities with our logos, but this package cost about 246 Polish zloty, which is about 56 USD. So let's get this thing open and see what parts lay inside. Hate to cut through such a nice logo. So as you already can tell, unlike my last Bricklink haul, I really got my money's worth. I think the two hauls cost about the same, but drastically, drastically different uh, results. So first of all, you can see LS Bricks. Thank you, you've made our day. We hope you enjoyed shopping. Tag us in product photos on Instagram with the hashtag LS Bricks, LS Bricks store. Diehard enthusiasts of the Play Stippling channel know I absolutely adore the color red. And in particular, dark red. I think these dark red parts with the gold printing, which I believe were from the Chima line, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, but the, this printing is absolutely gorgeous, and I could see like a ceremonial Stepalu wearing gold plating. As you saw with my last haul, uh, I found out how to find these swords, these propeller swords. Uh, are, they're classified as propellers, but they're actually katana-like swords. Um, they make similar ones uh, in the past, but they had a pin, a half pin connection. These have an axle connection, uh, which gives you more uh, sturdiness with your builds and just more opportunities to connect things. So I've got eight of those to pair with, I believe I had two in the last haul. So 10, 10 katanas in pearl gold. Kind of like the dark red printing, I've got two of these regular red size four armor shells with that printing on it, uh, two of these. And what's interesting about these is this is the only way to get a size four red armor shell with the printing. This came in the Star Wars, uh, I think they were called Praetorian Guards, something similar to that. They were the very red enemies that Rey and Kylo fought at the end of the episode eight of, of Star Wars. Uh, so two of these, in fact, I purchased these very specifically uh, to rebuild Rachnu, or rather build my own Rachnu. Uh, it was the first contest winner. You can uh, check that out over here. And uh, I want to have all the 30 minute mock winner, uh, all their builds here at the Play Stippling Studio. So uh, you'll see a lot in this haul. A lot of these parts were, were purchased with that goal in mind. So continuing that trend, these are the wings uh, to, to start working on the Huipo or the Okoto Hummingbird. Not gonna take all of these out, but if you're familiar with the Rachnu build by Flying Imagination, he used extensive usage of the toe ball joints or mixel joints uh, to do the connections for the cloak. I don't have a big collection of those, so I not only want to use these to rebuild Rachnu, but I also want to start exploring these in my own mocks. He impressed me greatly with the angular nature of his builds, and I think I can maybe try that out myself. In particular, I'm excited for these. They're not necessarily mixels, but they're, I think they're ammunition of some kind? Uh, but they do have that mixel ball joint on one end and a half pin on the other end. And what's neat about that is you could connect it to armor shells, you could connect it to to pins with studs, those kind of things. Gives you more opportunities for connection. Uh, again, not gonna open all these. They're gonna go everywhere, but you saw them. Continuing with some nerdy technic elements. Uh, double pin with, with an axle on it. Can never have enough of these. Enjoy having these in plentiful stock. And then the opposite, which is a double axle into a single pin, both of these extremely useful. Equally, the, to me, newer, but at this point it's an old piece, uh, the size three axle with stopper. I just use these all the time. It's just such a good piece. If you wanna have a, a size three connection that isn't sliding back and forth, uh, falling off the axle, this is a tremendous way to do it. And because this axle is so small, it's more likely for those parts to slip off. Uh, so the axle really helps there. Size three Technic beams, the half width ones in black. I don't have any in black recently. I've used them all a long time ago. So very much enjoying these, very neat. I have these Technic bushing connectors, the pin kind in black. When I was deep into Bionicle, these were not even hardly in existence. I think K2SO might've been my first interaction with them, uh, but a bunch of them, it's really neat. I love using these over the axle bushings. I think they give better shaping. Uh, they're more consistent with the CCBS smoothness. Uh, it's just a great tool to have, and I really like having this many in a, in a different color. Building unique things in the CCBS line often require unique parts that kind of make your build stand out. One of these,
these happens to be hoof pieces, these hooves. Uh, I think they came in the Ben 10 line originally. I don't know if this black one did or not. Lots of parts still to go through. We are we are still in the thick of this. Uh, I had mentioned Racknew, trying to build Racknew. Uh, this, to my knowledge, is the piece Flying Imagination used to build uh, the back portion of the cloak. I also got these double pin single axle pieces in red. I didn't even know they existed in red. This must be a new thing. In my last video, I got a few of these uh, blade pieces, again, classified as a propeller in, in neon reddish orange. So I got two more of those to add to my collection. And more exciting for me is I got these in trans neon greenish yellow which is just a beautiful, beautiful color. This is the color uh, that is kind of classified for stone creatures or stone characters. Uh, and again, just a beautiful opportunity to build a really solid great sword. Again, another weird kind of mixel element that I found that I like. I'm not really certain what these were for, but they have three mixel ball joints or, or toe balls with a pinhole connection point. Uh, I, I can even imagine all these different ways that this might come in handy, custom limbs, uh, just, just such a cool idea and something that I want to try to play around with. So add that to my Mixel collection, gonna have to add a new section of my drawers for that. Again, if you saw the last Bricklink haul, uh, link over there, uh, you saw that I'm trying to get more of these, uh, the newest CCBS torsos, the ones that came out in 2016, mostly used in the Star Wars line, Star Wars line of products. Uh, but yeah, very neat. I've got two more. That means I've got three to play with. Got some more wacky pearl gold weapons that didn't exist when I was doing my stuff. These are very small. I believe these were from Ninjago. I do recall seeing them in sets and being envious of them. Uh, but they are like very small dagger-like blades. You could use these as a ceremonial dagger or a part of a larger pearl gold weapon. Eight of them with a single connection axle hole. More pearl weapons! These are swords with a single axle to connect, but it also has three half-size pinholes, the uh, Star Wars lightsaber blade kind. Uh, I could see connecting them that way, maybe two of them with uh, some kind of energy in between them. Can't recall where these came from. My presumption is always Ninjago somewhere, and Ninjago gets all the fun stuff. And last in our journey through pearl gold weapons, we have these two massive, massive shurikens. Again, didn't know these existed, but Pearl Gold Technic Knob Gears, three of them. Uh, this could be fun to put in a mock that is predominantly gold uh, as an alternative to the blacks and yellows that are, are everywhere. Okay, we're getting closer to the finish line. I have the, what I call the Kylo Ren lightsaber attachment. There are two of these in dark tan and then two, four, six, eight of them in black. I recently discovered that this neon yellowish greenish ghost like color comes in a CCBS armor shell. While I didn't get that in this haul, I'm prepping for inevitably getting those uh, with some of these claw pieces. Great for villains or for some kind of uh, greebling or I know frequently in the Star Wars line they use them as the backs of, of boots. So eight of those here and I'm excited to make some kind of villain. The most prized collection of dark brown armor shells has added a new friend a single additional dark brown armor shell, uh, size four, that puts me at 15. If you've got more than 15, let me know in the comments. Some additional fun pieces in dark brown, a CCBS chess piece, and one of these uh, uh, shooters. A few Technic elements in black. Here's a new thing to the Play Stippling channel, these tiny Technic beams with the double axles. What makes these unique is they are not solid. They are actually rubber and they can curve back and forth, getting you some weird quirky angles or unique ways to build action features. This is just a single medium azure Technic lift arm. As I look to explore building larger mocks, I'm gonna have to try to find more creative ways to build sustainably strong and durable limbs and joints. Uh, so in one way I want to explore this is through these ratchet joints that are often used in different Technic builds or Star Wars ships. Uh, it's a ratchet joint with a three long Technic beam. They just connect just like this and then they just ratchet. There's a lot of friction to it 
and allows for some one-dimensional posability that isn't ideal, but if you're building something huge that can't stand upright, like this is a great way to do it. Another single piece, a sloped system piece that I'm gonna use for Rachnu. I got these in black, but I also got them in blue. It's the Technic uh, Magic Wondrous piece that I love. I'm looking to build a blue mock in the near future, so this will be very helpful, helpful for that. Got some of these in different colors in the last Bricklink haul, but these are in dark pearl gold and light bluish gray. And they just give more, more shaping to an existing armor shell. So I'll kind of show you what that might look like. You could take one of these, just put that right on there. And now you've almost got like a two-toned armor. Something new that I'm excited to try is this Technic gear rack. Uh, it lets you create some unique gearing systems that uh, isn't traditional to Bionicle. You see these a lot in the Technic vehicle lines. Um, not really sure how to use them yet, but definitely something that I feel like I've been missing out on. So, got two of them, probably gonna play around with them. Not sure if they'll show up in a mock anytime soon. I just don't know how to use them. Winding down here, just got a couple more things to look at. I just love the way these pieces looked. They are a silver into a trans neon green. They connect in a very strange way. It looks like they connect through a, like kind of a lightsaber bar. Um, yeah, so they connect kind of like that. And yeah, I have no clue how I'm gonna use these, but they are beautiful. They have a very similar vibe to the the elemental armor attachments from the uh, the Toa Uniters. I can definitely see some similarities between these, both in how they're molded and how they appear. Okay, I really, really, really wanted to see these, and that's the main reason I bought them. Everyone has a bunch of CCBS ball and socket joints. That's nothing special. But what this is, is it's the new one, the, the brand new one. Uh, they re-released them, I think it was this year or last and it's just a different style. So I really wanted to take a closer look and compare them. At a closer glance, these appear to be identical. Maybe they were mislabeled or maybe I'm missing something. Uh, the one on the left, the red one is, is uh, the older style and the black one is the one I just purchased, but I'm not really seeing any kind of discrepancy between the two. They seem virtually identical in every way. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you're seeing something I'm not. Okay, last but not least, what I bought this Bricklink haul for. All these parts, similar to my last Bricklink haul, came from a single set. This time, Chi Cragger, the Legends of Chima buildable action figures. He was a crocodile kind of guy. Uh, so this is a size four dark green CCBS armor shell. Again, dark green, the only ones that exist uh, were from that one set. And I've got quite a number of them. Let's count them out together, shall we? We got four, eight, 12, 16, 20. 20 dark green armor shells. While these are very much less unique than the dark brown armor shells of equal size, because I think multiple of them came in the Chi Cragger set, I've never had these in size four, only size three, which size three is very limiting in the size and scale of the model you wanna build. So having a bunch in size four really gives me the chance to build a full-sized figure in this color, or at least partially in this color. Similarly, these tail elements, uh, I believe only came in Chi Cragger, I could be wrong on that, but again, in dark green. I do have one, uh, but having another seven puts me at eight. So again, this is just a whole figure right here. Very, very excited to build a dark green figure. So this was the haul, and by golly, it was a haul. I, I can't believe that I got all of these parts at the price that I got them for. To put it in perspective, I got all of these parts for roughly the same, if not slightly cheaper, than my last Bricklink haul, which had maybe a third of the parts. LS Bricks, thank you so much for helping me with my hobby and my creative endeavors. And for the rest of you at home, I'm just wondering, what was your favorite part that I got in this haul? What are you excited to see me build? And let me know in the comments if I made any mistakes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.